Good afternoon and welcome back to Drinks with Matt Denoon. Today we are going all the way to Austria with a wonderful producer, Leth. We're looking at one of the Rieslings. Now Leth is out of the Wagram region of Austria, which is more northerly uh, in the uh, town or city of Fels. And uh, well, I've never been there. I have an affiliation with Austrian wines. I love them dearly. Gruner Veltliner is close to my heart and this uh, Riesling is really wonderful. Um, Felser Weinberger um, means uh, rocky soil. And this is a really wonderful version of an Austrian style of Riesling. It has a wonderful minerality. It is a bright acidity. If you can see here, it is a wonderful, um, intense lemon. Uh, really wonderful color. And uh, it shows off uh, a lot of luminosity. It refracts a lot of light. Really shows the quality of the winemaking practice. Uh, but let's dive into the wine real quick and then talk about what's unique. So, while a lot of Riesling tends to be overly aromatic, um, this bottle is not too cold. It's about, uh, I don't know, I'd say 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Wonderful opulence, really nice citrus. Slight orchard fruits, not really apple, more of a peach or pear. I'd say bright peach. Wonderful citrus, a little bit of lime. Um, and I think that's maybe the acidity coming out, showing a sharper citrus, but let's give it a, a try on the palate. You get that minerality. It doesn't necessarily add spritz, but adds pop to the palate, which is really nice. Never confused with carbonation, that's false. But what you do get is this really wonderful mouthfeel. The acidity sucks the palate inwards. Uh, brings the flavor intensity to a very bright level, opulent almost in its bright citrus and mineral fruits flavors. Um, and while you typically could branch into some tropical fruit flavors, uh, Germany really gets <clears throat> more into them. Austria, is, this is a very balanced wine. It does have uh, tropical fruit flavors like a bit of melon, cantaloupe. Um, it does have a slight uh, sense of almost a pineapple, but it's not that bright. Uh, a bit of passion fruit, but it's undertones. And it doesn't go anywhere near lychee or banana or mango uh, or kiwi. That is way too opulent for this style. Now, Leth as a producer is really unique. For the last 20 years, they have been the harbinger of quality in Austria, and they have a living varietal museum propagating and cultivating over 150 unique indigenous grape varieties to Austria, which is unheard of. Very few people in the world care that much about their local varietals to really do that. So, if you have a chance and you are a Riesling lover and you are looking for a Riesling that is below the five grams per liter uh, residual sugar, this is not opulently sweet. This has a wonderful minerality and a crisp, refreshing flavor. You should look for Lath. This is the Riesling Felser Weinberger. Um, and Google Translate taught me how to say that properly. I think you should go out and try this. It is about uh, $25 uh, on average out there and it is worth every penny. So, I love Riesling, you love Riesling, be Rieslingable. Go and get this. Thanks for coming to Drinks with Matt Denoon. Cheers.